as a lawyer and I experienced that both myself and many of my colleagues, co colleagues we, we lacked a piece in the puzzle when we helped our clients. I had taken courses in negotiation at the program on negotiation at Harvard Law School and I was inspired by some of my new friends from there to search for excellent classes in mediation. I was recommended uh, to the Strauss Institute at Pepperdine Law School and a professor Peter Robertson and his staff there. So after taking their mediation course and with the inspiration of Professor Robinson, I felt the missing piece in helping my clients was definitely found. A mediator, a negotiator and a lawyer are working to assist our clients and we need to have hope. We are to assist our clients or the parties in the mediation and an important part is to bring hope to, to search for elements that we can work on and those elements can be small stepping stones for the client to see a better situation in the future. And I believe hope is something very important for a mediator, for a negotiator and for a lawyer to bring with him or her in times of adversity. I was thinking of one case that our, I mediated, it was a divorce case. The parties were very hostile to each other and everything one said was interpreted most negatively by the other and vice versa. By listening to them, of course, about the content, but also to each other's concern for themselves and, of course, of their children, how the economic situation will look like tomorrow, etc., etc. And I saw quite early in the process how they elaborated differently on the mediation process. Then I saw more hope to find a solution. I needed to help them explain to each other how they differently needed time to be comfortable with the ideas and suggestions that we were able to put on the table. And when both of them were able to vocal those differences, the others stood, understood why. And it was not because of the need to be difficult, but it was because they were different in elaborating new information and ideas. And then I knew it is hope to find a solution quite soon. I believe it's very important that the media to gain knowledge about different cultures the parties represent, a kind of a basic knowledge. It could be around elements such as how the parties communicate, how they evaluate information, and both give and receive feedback. How trust is built and how they make decisions. But another element is related to the party's background. Not only the region they come from or the, the country they represent, but what is their education and where have they been trained? If the parties or the councils are trained in a collaborative negotiation approach, that, it in, uh, that will influence them or their approach more than if they come from Sri Lanka or Norway. So both the region, the country, but also their education and where if they are trained, and this is talked particularly around the council's background. But the councils are influencing the clients a lot. So this is the approach for the mediated through the councils into the parties. 
mediation is a very efficient tool to solve many different kinds of conflicts. And the more the, the word of the benefits gets out, the more future clients and the more lawyers will see how they, both of them, can benefit to solve issues better and also gain for the clients to gain, uh, excuse me, for the councils to gain future business with the use of good mediation skills.